Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video we will learn about external ID in Salesforce. So in this video we will deep dive into what is external ID in Salesforce. After that we will see their uses, properties and after that I will explain how we can create and use the external ID in Salesforce. So for that watch the video till end and don't miss any topic. After that you can also able to create and use the external ID in Salesforce. And if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So whenever you post any new video, you will get an update. Now first let's see on the Salesforce org, what is external ID in Salesforce. So here I am navigating to the Salesforce org. Now the external ID is nothing but any custom field with the external ID attribute checked. So let me show you. Here I am navigating to the object manager. Then here we need to select on which object or which field we want to make as an external field. So here I am searching for the employee object which is custom object that I have created. As I open the employee object, here you can see fields and relationship, click on it. And after that, here we have field that we have created in the employee object. Now here you can see, here I have created email field, which is external ID and the unique field. That means when you create new field or edit any field, so here I am editing this field, for that click on this drop down and click on edit. Now as I scroll down, here you can see in the general options, here we have one checkbox, which is external ID. So from here, while creating or editing any custom field, we can make the external ID field. Now let's navigate to the PPT. So first we will understand what is the external ID in Salesforce. And before moving ahead, here is very big announcement for the Salesforce Geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course. We explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules, you will get lifetime access. So here you can see, here we have covered 10 modules, introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course, we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. The external ID in Salesforce is any custom field with the external ID attribute checked. Meaning it contains unique record identifiers from a system outside of Salesforce. That means whenever any user creates the new field on any Salesforce object, that one is the custom field. And while creating the custom field, there we have one checkbox called external ID. If we check that checkbox, that means that particular ID is external ID in Salesforce. Now why we use the external ID? That means it contains unique record identifier from a system outside of Salesforce. That means here you can see in the first table, we have the external file. That means this file is not in Salesforce. And after that in another table, we have one table, these records we have available in the Salesforce org. Now for example, from the second table records are from the lead object. Now whenever we want to update or upset the record from the external system to the Salesforce org, at that time we need a record ID, which is the unique ID to map the records from the Salesforce org and the external table or, or external file. Now using that unique ID, Whatever records we want to update, those records will get update and if any record ID not matches with the external file, at that time in the Salesforce org, new record will be get created. Now in this example here you can see, in the first table or in the external file, here we don't have the unique ID, that means the record ID from the Salesforce and we want to perform the update or the upset operation in the Salesforce. Now this time, instead of the record ID, the external ID come to the picture. So from the Salesforce org fields, we can make this email field as an external ID and then whenever we update or upset the records at that time the email field map with each other and if the email will matches then it will replace the value from the external system to the Salesforce org. For example here you can see in the first table here we have ID as 1 then name as XYZ and then email as a abc at gmail.com. Now while performing the update or upset operation what will happen? So here we make the email field as external field. That means this external file email field will matches in the inside the Salesforce org email field. And here you can see here we have abc at the gmail.com and in the Salesforce org also here we have abc at the gmail.com. Now the name from the external file here you can see xyz 
if the email matches then this abc name from the lead object replace with the xyz name with the external file and here you can see in the second row here we have pqr at their gmail.com and then in the inside of the salesforce org here we don't have the pqr at their gmail.com that means for this email the new record will get created and the record id from the salesforce org will get assigned for created record so in this way the external id works in the salesforce now let me show you how we can create the external id in salesforce for that let's jump to the salesforce org Now here I am searching for the employees object. Here I am opening this object. After that click on fields and relationship. So here I want to make the email field as external field. So here I am searching for email. Here you can see here we have email. Click on this drop down. Click on edit. And now as you scroll down. Here you can see here we have one option external id. That means if you check this checkbox. This field will be external ID in employee object. So here I am checking this checkbox and then click on save. Now here you can see in the email field, here we have email, external ID and the unique field. So in this way while creating the field or at the time of editing the field, you can make the field as external field in Salesforce. Now let me navigate to the PPT. Now let's understand the properties of external field. Here you can see the purpose link salesforce record to corresponding records in external system so i have explained in this example how we can import the records from the external file or the external system to the salesforce org using the external id after that here we have limitation only these fields we can make as external field or external id in the salesforce in that we have custom text number field then email fields only these fields we can make as external id field in salesforce after that this can be set as unique to ensure no duplicates values within the field that means when you make the text number or email field as a external field that time we cannot store the duplicate values in that particular field after that one more limitation is there an object can have maximum of seven external id fields that means in that we can have unique or the external ids for example on particular object we have four unique fields that means on that object we can only create the three external id fields and another example if you have five external ids then we can make only two unique fields on that particular object now let's see how we can use the upsert operation using the data loader and how we can use the external id field to upsert the data so here i have created one file here you can see here i have created one file now in the employee object we have made the email field as a external field that means when we upset this file in the salesforce org using the data loader the external file email field with the map the values of the internal or the salesforce email field and if the value will matches then the record will get update and if the value will not match then the new record will get create now here you can see the first three emails these emails are similar from the employee object here you can see first second and third email now these three emails are the same with the external file that means for these three emails record value of the other fields will get uh, updated and for these two emails the new record will be get created so let me update the list view for this object here i am changing recently to the all list view here i am changing the columns which i want to display email name stage domain email and then joining date and then date of birth here i am saving this one now here you can see employee name stage domain email joining date and date of birth now let's import the external file to the salesforce org for that here i am opening the data loader so here we are using the upsort operation for that select the upsort operation and now select the object in which you want to upset the data so here i am searching for employees and then import the csv file so here i am selecting the file that i have created 
and then click on next. Now after the initialization, here you can see the CSV file has 5 rows. Let's check the rows. So here you can see we have 6 records. That means the first one is the name of column. Now click on OK. And now here we need to select to match the employees use either the ID field or external ID field. So here we have made the email as an external ID field on the employee object. So here I am selecting email and then click on next after that this one is the optional here you will see the related object and if there is any value of this related records you can select the lookup field over here so here currently i don't have any lookup field for that here i am clicking on next now here we need to map the csv column header with the salesforce object field name for that click on this create or edit map and now as you click on this auto match some fields will get automatically match so here all fields get automatically matched because in the csv column and the field name we have we have kept the same names for that the all fields get automatically matched after that click on ok button again click on next and then click on finish so here we have warning here we need to click on s to proceed and now here you can see there were three successful upsert and two errors so here we have two errors we need to check that for that click on this view errors and here we have error because of for some fields we miss the uh, salary which is the required field from the salesforce object so for that we got this error let me close this one click on ok let me minimize the data loader before refreshing the page here you can see now before refreshing the page here you can see so let me open the excel file and now here you can see for this first email in salesforce arc we have sixth record of that email and in the external file we have domain as a sharepoint but in the employee object we have domain as a salesforce then in the external system the stage is experienced but in the salesforce we have as a fresher now the upsert operation has been successfully done there we have there we are there where we have three successful and two errors now as i refresh the page for this record the value of domain stage and the employee name will be get changed so let me refresh the page and here you can see so this was that email the domain has been changed from salesforce to the sharepoint then stage also has been changed from fresher to experienced and the employee name also has been successfully changed. So in this way, we can use the external ID to upload the data from the external system to the Salesforce org. I hope whatever I explained you understood that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever you post any new video, you will get an update. Thank you.